I'm Tom from Do It Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at a kind of a weird feature on the new Fitbit Sense smartwatch, and that's the fact that it only has one button, and that button is actually not a button. It's a um, inductive button, or a, uh, a, 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 I guess you'd call it a solid state button. Um, so you don't actually press it in, you just sort of mash it with your finger. And uh, I find you kind of have to hook your finger under the bezel in order to actually activate it. So I'm going to go ahead and press it now. And see, just tapping, it doesn't really do anything. I have to really get my finger under there and kind of cover it and press it in. So that's a little bit weird. Um, and what does the button actually do? So if you're in, uh, if you're not, the watch isn't switched on, the first thing it does is actually activate it in the first place, as you can see. So I press it in, and then activates this, and then I can scroll through and uh, select functions in here. Um, if I'm in a menu, uh, pressing it in actually doesn't go back one level. Pressing it in actually takes you back to the home screen. So that's a little bit counterintuitive. Um, you'd think it would take you back one level in the menu, but it actually takes you all the way back to the home screen. Um, if you do want to go back uh, just one level, this is something that I figured out through a lot of trial and error, you go into a specific menu, you actually have to start all the way over the side of the bevel here and swipe right to go back one level. If you're just swiping, sometimes it doesn't even really detect it. It is now, but sometimes it doesn't even see that. So I find I have to start all the way over at the left and swipe over. Um, so let's go back to the home screen again by mashing that side button. And the final thing is if you do a long press, it's gonna pull up your voice assistant. You can customize that function, but by default, it's gonna pull up your voice assistant. For me, that is Alexa, so I can do a long press. What's the weather in San Francisco? There we go, we got a weather report. Um, you can do all of the sort of normal functions you would do with your voice assistant, whether that's Alexa or Google Assistant. Um, so that's the, uh, the weird button on the side of the Fitbit. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but um, once you do figure it out, I think it does work. I would like to have a real button. I like the haptics of a real button, but uh, I think this is something tolerable on the Fitbit Sense. Um, if you want to see a lot more about the watch, feel free to follow me here on YouTube. You can also read my detailed reviews at 10.medium.com.